In our practice today, we will be really giving ourselves time to invite in gratitude to our day. We often have an opportunity to bring gratitude in. I mean, we do every single day, right? When we wake up first thing in the morning, that is where we can take a moment to bring in a space of thankfulness for the things that we have, for the roof over our head, for the food on our plate, for um, the clothing on our body, for the water we get to drink, for the people in our lives. And, um, Sometimes that kind of not necessarily goes away, but it sort of falls by the wayside because of how busy we are. Or maybe we are picking up our phones first thing in the morning because that is our alarm clock. Or, um, you know, we have text messages that have come through in the middle of the night or whatever it might be. And so if we can give ourselves a foundation for gratitude and a little bit of space for uh, thankfulness every day in our life, that's where our life will start to follow that because we're practicing that. Let's remember that whatever we practice is the way that our life is going to follow and then our life will unfold in that way because we're taking our energy, we're taking our attention and putting it towards something. And so if one of the first things we do in the morning is wake up and think of something we're grateful for, it kind of signals to our brain that that's the way that we want to think, that that's the direction we want to go, and that's the way that we want to live our lives. And so it becomes a lot easier and it becomes second nature for us to bring in gratitude more often in um, in everyday situations. And it doesn't even have to be uh, just on Thanksgiving week, but this is a really nice week to remind us that we have a time time and a space to bring in a little bit more gratitude for ourselves and for others. And um, gratitude is, um, I heard this definition yesterday, a really simple definition that, that I thought was really nice. And it is, gratitude is an affirmation of goodness. And, you know, I know that those of us we pra who practice mindfulness a lot, we try and let go of the labels of good or bad or, um, you know, ideal or less than ideal. But in this situation, goodness is, um, the, it, this, the gratitude is the space of affirming goodness and goodness really meaning something that makes us smile, something that fills our heart, something that makes us feel warm and cozy and safe and sound. And when we give ourselves that space to find value in things rather than just saying, oh, I'm just grateful for everything. And you know, that doesn't mean that everything is good all the time, but when we can see value in things, that's, that's gratitude. And so an affirmation of goodness. And so even in challenging times or um, in times where we feel a little bit pushed, we can still bring in an affirmation of goodness or a little bit of gratitude to find value in whatever life is handing us. And so in our practice today, we will give ourselves the opportunity to not only turn gratitude toward ourselves, which is something that maybe we don't do very often. A lot of times when we think of gratitude, we think of things outside of us. We think of, um, you know, maybe the simple things, like I was mentioning, the roof over our head, a glass of water to drink. But a lot of times we think of people that we're grateful for. And we will also spend a little bit of time and take a moment to reflect on, um, on, on people that we're grateful for and even situations that we are grateful for. But we're gonna start with the self because everything does start with the self. And so when we can remind ourselves that Gratitude not only starts within, but also that we deserve to give ourselves gratitude. It becomes a lot easier to give thanks and gratitude to the things around us as well. And that's where we can start to open up the doors to live a gratitude-filled life or to walk through life with this attitude of gratitude. And even when we know 
that we're being tested and we know we are being, um, you know, butt up against something and pushed up against something and it's really, really challenging. I have found a lot of inspiration in people who are going through a really, really tough time, but then they are still grateful. And that to me is is one of the most incredible things to witness in a, in a human being is to see someone going through v something very challenging and then also having gratitude, also seeing value in, in life and value in the situations that they're facing. And so no matter what um, is going on with you in the, on this particular day, no matter what is happening around us and, um, and what situations we've been facing either personally or all together we can still invite in a space of thanks and gratitude and that can really kind of steer the ship a little bit into the space that we want to um, to go so let's go ahead and get started in our gratitude meditation here together I invite you to come to a comfortable place to sit and when you arrive if it feels comfortable for you to close your eyes I invite you to do so you can always take a soft gaze downward if you prefer to keep your eyes slightly open. And we're going to start with a little bit of gentle movement in our practice today, but we're not going to quite yet. So take a moment and instead of settling yourself all the way into that space of a meditation seat quite yet, just take a moment to notice how you feel today. Notice what has arrived with you. Notice the things that you have been feeling. And pay attention if there's any resistance to any of that that's coming up to any of the physical sensations that you're feeling, any emotions that happen to be there, and any thoughts that have made their way in today. As you ground down through your sit bones, into your seat, Begin to rise up through the crown of your head so that you're sitting up just as much as you're sitting down and you're creating a balance between strength of sitting up and the ease of rest. As we come into this practice together, let's take a cleansing breath. A full inhale through your nose. Long exhale, sigh the breath out. Take your fingertips and bring them up to your temples and just begin to give yourself a nice little temple massage here. And if it feels good for you, maybe that massage moves to your forehead or to your head. But just take a moment here to notice what you feel. And as you notice the thoughts that are there today and where your mind has been, if at any time you notice any frustration start to rise up, If you notice that your mind is very busy today and it's hard to hone in on being here in this moment, rather than resisting this that is coming up, can you simply just say to yourself, I am grateful to be able to think. I'm grateful to be able to think. And can you send gratitude to the left hemisphere of the brain, to that logical thinking mind, that space of linear thinking and 
the space of being able to even understand language, to understand situations and things that are happening around us and within us. So rather than reprimanding the mind for wandering or for thinking things we don't want it to think, we simply be grateful that we can think. Begin to move your hands down to the hinge at your jaw and start to give yourself a gentle massage here. Allow your top and bottom teeth to part from one another. And maybe you do notice that there is some tension that has built up in this space. This muscle here on either side of the jaw, this is the strongest muscle per square inch that we have in our body. So this is a place where we tend to carry a lot of stress and tension. Some of us might clench our teeth or grind our teeth at night. But in this moment, can you just be grateful to be able to talk, to be able to eat? And start to release your hands to your neck and your shoulders and give yourself a nice gentle massage here. Really begin to dig into the shoulders and notice what you feel. Some of us carry a lot of tension in this space in our body and maybe we don't even notice it from one moment to the next, but when we start to give ourselves a massage, that's where our body recognizes that we feel tightness. So rather than getting upset with anything that comes up, can you be grateful that your body is giving you feedback? Maybe even give a little gratitude for your body telling you, hey, maybe you need a massage a little more often. <laughs> and as you give gratitude to your neck and shoulders, just give yourself permission to take the weight of your responsibilities off your shoulders and set them down for this time and space for yourself. Gently cross your hands to opposite upper arms and give your arms a nice squeeze here. Through your upper arms and down through your forearms and into your wrists. Be grateful for these arms that can hug. And can you give gratitude to your hands and everything that they do for you? being able to pick things up and being these spaces of communication, especially right now through our computers and our phones, using our hands and fingers to reach out to the world around us. Gently release your hands down to your upper legs and give your upper legs a nice squeeze here. And just give your legs and your feet gratitude for holding you up, for walking you through your days. And when it feels right for you, allow your palms to spin upward and rest your hands in your lap. And as you begin to settle into stillness of your seat, can you give gratitude to everything that your body does for you? From digesting your food, to your heart beating in this moment, breathing the air 
around you with this inhale and this exhale. And can you say to yourself in your mind, I am grateful for the body I have and everything it does for me. I am grateful for the body I have and everything it does for me. As you allow your body to be breathed in this moment, continue to send thanks and gratitude to this body and everything that nourishes you. And be kind to yourself. Now take a moment to reflect and think of someone who has been kind to you. Maybe it was a family member who did the dishes for you when you were tired. Maybe it was a coworker who gave you a pat on the back when you did something great. Maybe it's a pet who snuggles with you on the couch at night. Or even a stranger who allows you to go first in line at the grocery store. And as you think of this person and the act of kindness that they gave to you, just notice how you feel inside when you think of this kindness. When you think of the love that this person has in their heart even if they don't know you very well. And gently say to yourself in your mind, I am grateful for their kindness. I am grateful for their kindness. And as you continue to allow gratitude to circulate in your heart for this person, and the kindness and compassion that they have shared with you. Be kind to everyone and everything outside of you. And now take a moment to reflect on an experience that you had sometime this year that you are thankful for. It's okay if this is a little more difficult. 
for many of us, this has been quite a challenging year. But can you call to mind one experience that you are grateful for this year? Maybe it's something simple like being able to drink your coffee in the morning. Maybe you have gratitude for being able to let something go or invite something in. Maybe you find value in something that you learned. And even through one of the most challenging years that our world has experienced together, can you give gratitude to this experience that you are thankful for this year? And gently say to yourself in your mind, I am grateful for this experience. I am grateful for this experience. And as you continue to send thanks and gratitude to the experiences you've had this year that have been valuable for you, whether they've been joyful or difficult, allow yourself to sit here in this moment And say to your them grateful. And for a few moments here on your own, gently repeat these words to yourself. And maybe allow other people and experiences to come into your mind that you are grateful for. Stay here with this gratitude until you hear the sound of my voice again. I am grateful.
Allow your eyes to remain closed. Maybe you allow a gentle smile to fall upon your face as you take your hands and place them on top of your heart. Gently bow your head. And as you keep gratitude in the space of your heart and all of the amazing and even simple things that you have or have experienced in your life, can you take a moment as you breathe here to be thankful and grateful to yourself for taking time just for you? Take a deep breath into the space of your heart and a long exhale out. When you feel ready, I invite you to move back into the space of your day by gently blinking your eyes open and taking the room around you in for a few moments and just really soak it in. Maybe you can even find something that you're grateful for here in this room right now, even just having a roof over your head. And I wanna thank each of you for taking your time to be here in community with one another, to practice with me and to practice for yourself. I think that Thanksgiving week is a really powerful time to remember what we're thankful for, but not just for one day, not just for one week or even the month of November, but can it be kind of a jump start to remind us how powerful gratitude can be and how it can shift our mindset a little bit. Again, we're not looking to put sunshine and rainbows on top of every situation. What we're looking to do is to find value in the things that cross our path. I hope that this practice was helpful for you. I am so grateful for you and to be able to share this space with you and to hold these practices with you from wherever we might be joining each other from. So thank you from every corner of my heart for being here. I am grateful for you. Happy Thanksgiving. Namaste.